Welcome to Warblog. I'm gonna. This is a. Uh, I'm gonna play Tel Catra Advance Syria. This is a ongoing situation. Um, I played it before, but I had an error. Um, so this is sort of what I did before. So <laughs> um, not to sort of maybe. I don't know what I'm trying to say here really. I'm trying to take these two targets here. So as you can see I'm sort of moving this battle group in this direction. There's another one here that will move up here. The point to note maybe is that this timeline thing is quite new. And um, in part of adding it, I think there's an error somewhere in the combat. Um, so this sort of goes on. Now I'm not going to go through the whole lot. But if we get to a combat up here. It doesn't happen yet because the Te Hasham units will move everything first. Um, and then it sort of goes blank. There's an error. Now, I, I, can't, I haven't actually been able to track the error, but it's actually quite intermittent. So most combat should be okay. But I say that with the knowledge that when I play it, there might be, I might run into this error again. I'm still trying to troubleshoot it. Um, I wasn't feeling so great before. I'm feeling okay now. So um, hopefully I'll be able to at least get my mind fully around this error. So anyway, we've got this two, we've got these two battle groups. We've got some air power. Uh, we've got these two battle groups. Um, so there's one here, one here, and obviously I'm going to send this one this way, this one this way. The interesting thing about them, they're both too far away to sort of do anything immediately. Um, the Tata Hasham units are actually quite formidable, especially there. Um, they've sort of slightly outnumbered the Syrian defence in this sort of sector, but obviously we've got this coming up. Here it's a little more balanced. Um, but they've got um, their own little sort of reinforcements there and there. Now, last time these came down here and spread out quite liberally amongst that. These ones sort of came this way last time, um, but for no real reason. I mean, I guess they could come this way, um, but I think moving this way it gives you the option to go there or there, depending on what you want to do. So I think I'm going to do the same thing again. With regards to air power, I sort of needed to, well... I don't know what I want to attack, but I want to get these rockets. Um, I made a mistake last time in a certain capacity, which I'm not going to make this time. But basically, the armor in this will come all the way along here, and it will actually get to there. But nothing else will. So I had my armor there exposed, and I got pounded by these rockets. One lot there, and one lot there. But I'm going to try and get these rockets here with my air power. It's a bit of a crap shot. The other thing to bear in mind is that there are engineers, there's engineers there, there's actually engineers in there, and there's some engineers there. So we don't know what the our sham unit can do, but we've got the corresponding engineers down here. But there are, isn't really a great deal in the way of obstructions. There's earthworks there, I think there's earthworks there, and there's earthworks there. Basically the main tracks, so there's a track there, so there's earthworks earthworks but their engineers which are there there and there might do things like lay mines and last time I did actually position the tower sham units to lay mines there but I didn't get beyond that and that's why I attacked them there so without further ado I'm just going to sort of play it I guess I could do my air strikes on that I really want to get these rockets. That is my number one priority. I really want to sort of focus on anything that's going to take it. Because these these rockets and things, if they can concentrate them, are pretty much the only thing that can do any damage. So we've got 3.1 on the engineers, 2 on the rockets, which is good. So, the, I always put the artillery as artillery, never as like self-propelled howitzers, which would make it a little easier. So that's as far as they can get. 
what I'm going to do, I think, is just bring everything up onto this road. One, two, three, four, everything up to there. Doesn't matter if I'm in range. I want to keep things sort of, they're probably in rocket range, but they're not going to be hit by everything. Just sort of far enough away so that you can't really do a major assault, but I can spring in next turn. Next turn. I brought two of these up this way, I'll do the same thing again. I want to keep things distributed like that really now, there's no real reason to do that because they don't have any rockets in this area do they so that will do so we're not actually doing any attacks. So we attack in our sham turn. Bring the engineers and rockets and things forward. I couldn't do that if I tried. It quite often happens. It's a browser thing, it's just trying to look at the image. It always bugs me. I never really understand how it works. Okay. We're only trying to protect. The thing to bear in mind here is that we are only trying to protect these objectives. And also that they do actually counterattack, and the Syrians then counter-attack again so there's quite a lot happening in here in real life right at the moment I knew it wouldn't get there I just wanted to test the water really this is the situation I had last time. And I'm going to leave the front line as it is. I'm going to recover these rockets because they'll at least recover a depression. We've got some rockets here to fire at that. So we're leaving him, but we might as well fire these ones. No effect. 
I like this first turn because nothing is actually engaged. If you look there, well, there's only this contact line there. So that's that. So, airstrikes. Well, again, we still seem to be fixated on that. And I think. Good reason, really, if we can do it. Got two against the rockets that time, no effect that time, and no effect. Oh well, we'll get that. Three, okay, so one, two, three, four. If we could keep away from these rockets and swing around this way. What I'm thinking is bringing this sort of battle group this way, like that, pushing these ones out. See, it's a bit too far up, really. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, and we can get him there. Two, three, four. I just want to keep out of range of these rockets. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So trying to take that hex. One, two, three. These hexes here, let me just highlight them, are all, all okay. Because they're out of range. One, two, three, four. I just don't want him getting the benefit from that when. This route through here looks easier, like that. But how to do it? I feel tempted to push these units out first, but I might try and just push these two back. I mean, this is the limiting factor there. How much movement's he got now? So we've got some. So we'll push this. Okay. I'm going to bring him forward. I'm going to try and push him back. Now, hopefully, I won't get an error. Okay, so I pushed him back. So we might want to get our engineers in there. I 
holding that would be good because it would give us a defensive advantage. I'll end my turn by moving in there. It's got two point two, so we can shuffle around a bit. Like this. He's moved up. Try and push him out. DR. So two good sets of odds with two nice results. I don't, he might be able to get in there. See, he's not dug in. I don't want to put my armor too close to the front line. So that should be six to one against that. A D. Which essentially pushed him back. So he's stuck there. I'm quite happy with that. I don't want to push the armor too far forward, but I could. I just want to sort of optimize the possibility for next turn. If I leave him there alone, because this rocket, these rockets will be able to do something. But they'll only be able to, if I stack him up, it'll, it'll be a much better, a much more obvious target for him. I'll probably get something from him next turn. Okay, down here, it's going to be a lot easier. I can support everything with my infantry. Two damage. Okay. So we've got armor. Rockets, one, two, three, four. So we'll probably be in range next turn. Anti tank coming in. Exchange. That's frustrating. Okay, let's see if we can punch him out. I'm getting a bit wild here. D, okay. Okay, so we've pushed him out.
That's a nice advance. It was a shame about the first failed attack. You could almost go for his air defense unit there. I don't want to just push things for no reason. And we're leaving the armor there because we don't want to stack him up. Okay. So. At a uh, sham. Well, obviously, I think we've got to maybe think about defending this. We've got a spare unit there. I mean, it's not an objective hex. So we've got to defend it. Let's bring him out and the rockets. Down here. We need these defending units. I didn't do anything with these engineers last time. They should have been there. Well, what I'm actually going to do. Let's put earthworks in that hex. In theory, oh, yes, it's working. I get so depressed when something doesn't work because, yep, there it is under there. Depressing me because you, there's this, suddenly there's this threat of having to figure it out, and it can take hours. Okay. Do we want to retake that hex? It'd be nice to sort of attack something. See, that's going to be six in defense. We won't be able to do anything with it. I think we've got to use our rockets on this. Not enough damage, really. <sighs> we could have got him. Okay. No real scope for much there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. What I'm going to do. Well, that's the hex there. So we've doubled up in there. And there. And let's. Double up again in there. I'm not sure what more we can do in that area, but I 
So I'm tempted to push him in this way because we need extra reinforcements to really push down on this area. But do we want to move this forward? You see, we could come forward and attack some of these units. For example, we could push down there and attack that, but they're all going to be just sort of one to ones. But that's the sort of that's their territory. That's the sort of thing that they do. And if we can push that back and win. It would change something. Not a lot, but for example, trying to get to his artillery. With our more mobile units. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to push him down here because it will threaten. Can I get in there? Yes. I'm going to do this. So Tate Hash um, counterattacked successfully in this particular situation. And we can go against that as well, look, almost big time. I mean that's almost stupid, isn't it? Positioning it there. D E. Oh, he can't stack up because it's a. Because it's got earthworks, but it doesn't matter. Might be nice to take that hex. Oh no. We could jump forward with three units here and push this unit back. Thing is, I don't want to do that because every time you do something like that, it sounds good, but then they'll, they'll all be there, there, and there, which means these hexes will be empty, which means they'll be just one more hex away from the main action, and it just gives them more scope for pushing up and you know maximizing on the the open land that they've left they've left open. Yeah. So. We can't really attack that. We put some rockets on it. We'll have more rockets next turn. What's this guy doing? The track's not doing him anything, is it? Well, he'll be in it next turn. Maybe I should have gone there. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Okay, well I think that this turn is going to be the decisive turn. 
really want to sort of, I mean, spend so much trying to get rid of this one rocket battery. Was it worth it? Okay, well, we got rid of some engineers. And the rockets are on their way out as well. And worth worth noting, I haven't had this error. Maybe it was just a completely random glitch. You know, it's based on something else. It did perplex me. I couldn't find anything. So maybe it was. Um... But that open gap has been well and truly sealed up. We can still punch through something. See, he's got two depressions. He's a weak part, but I really want to just... This is what I want to do. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this rocket battery. I just want to take it out. So I want to punch this unit out of the way. Enter and attack it and leave myself in a strong position that's my objective but to do that I'm gonna to have to do so many other things I've got to attack this unit but I might be able to do it with my artillery there if I move my artillery there and I probably won't. One, two, three, four. I could probably leave him there because I don't want to be, give him too exposed to the front line there for any counter attacks. But if I did that, that's obviously that's frustrating. Um, but if I did that, and I got a route because he's on seven morale. And that might change everything. So let's let's just do that. No. Nine. So we would have had a forty percent chance of being eliminated. Okay, so The thing is, I could do this another way. I could come in this way. It's not depressed, but come up there with two units. He's gone back into there, and then this. Look at this. That's where it went wrong. I'm gonna pause just briefly there. I'm not, I haven't done anything yet. I'm thinking. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave that as it is. So, one minute. Now what I've done, I've left the game there. But what you'll see is the just some open thinking here. This is the game. I've gone into My Games. I've opened up another tab. I've gone into My Games. And this is what's happened. So, if we look at that. Now I know that I can do this. And we're back. We had this guy and this guy, and then we did that, and it went wrong. But what happened is that they were both repositioned, so he went to there, and he went to there, and it was when it came round to doing they these. 
because they didn't update for some reason. Because what, what should happen, it goes through, it does all the defender units and then it moves on to the this. Now he would have done, I'm going to try and figure this out, but he would have done a morale check and passed. So neither of them failed. But this would have, the, the problem I don't, the problem I have is I don't know whether this was a DE result or a DR. This is the problem. Now I think it might be a DE, but I don't know. Because if it was a DR, then it would be as it is. But after it does this, then it calculates this, and it hasn't done it. It stopped on that because you can see that move is move is one minus one point six, which should be one point six because they can't move now. See, I'm trying to troubleshoot what this problem is. See, so he's at minus one. He should be at one. So it hasn't done that. It stopped at that point. But what I don't know was whether it was a DE or a DR result and that would really help because I'd know which one the error was on but I'm going to continue I'm going to continue but I'm actually going to open up a third tab so I can keep these things sort of in my mind so that will be open on that but so I can't I can't move in there but that was what that doesn't matter because what I wanted to do was just push him out and I can still do my counter attack in this direction And I can bring in support from there. Let's see, it's happened again. Let me try and sort this out. 